Our fMRI tutorial series concludes with the last major software package, SPM. SPM stands for Statistical Parametric Mapping, which is the method of mapping your imaging results onto a brain. The finished product looks like those images you see in magazines that show you what is activated when watching a movie, or what part of the brain lights up when you take a poop. So why use SPM? Among all of the other major software packages, there are trade-offs between flexibility and how easy it is to use. For example, Apne is very flexible, but has a steep learning curve. SPM, on the other hand, can do analyses entirely from a graphical user interface, or GUI. You can learn the basics by clicking a few buttons, and the user is guided through each of the analysis steps. All of this comes at the cost of reduced flexibility. What you see in the GUI is what you have control over. There are some options that are available if you use the commands from the SPM library, although they can be difficult to use if you don't have experience with coding. As we learn more about the basics of SPM, we'll eventually learn how to code our analyses or script them in order to save time and minimize the chances of making a mistake. Another feature of SPM is that it is run through MATLAB. This is an advantage for some people, since they can use any operating system they want, in contrast to AFNI and FSL, which require Unix or a Unix emulator. For others, MATLAB is both an expensive software package and an awkward programming language. But if you're part of a laboratory or university that has access to MATLAB for free, it may be worth your time to use it. So how do you get SPM? Assuming that you have already downloaded and installed MATLAB, you should first go to the SPM12 website and click on the Download Form button. Select SPM12 as the version that you want, and fill out the rest of the details. Once you fill out the rest of the options, download the software package by clicking the Download button down below. This may take a few minutes, so we're going to fade out while it downloads. When it has finished downloading, click on the zip folder to unzip it, and then open a finder and move it to your home directory. You can find your home directory by clicking on Go at the top of your screen. Once you have finished moving it to your home directory, open up MATLAB, then click on the Home tab, and then click the Set Path button. From this screen, select the SPM12 directory in your home folder, and then click Open and then save to automatically set the path each time MATLAB is opened, and then close the window. After you have set the path, type the following from the MATLAB terminal, SPM, and press Enter, which opens up the following window, and then click on the fMRI button to open up the SPM fMRI graphical user interface. When you're finished with it, it should look something like this. And that's it. You're now ready to download a real data set and analyze it with SPM, which is what we now turn to.